I'm so tapped up, and I thought I would do a little video reviewing the Christmas event, or holiday event, whatever it's called. So, it started, what, 11 days ago? And um, it only took me about eight days, I think, to get all of the items. Um, there's all these different event challenges, and you got this little costume, and there's also an alternate skirt that you can use instead of the pants. Um, and these are all of the items, unless I forgot to equip one, which I don't think I did. Um, got the bed, the sofa, and, um, I did, I did enjoy, I like the items a lot, but my biggest problem with this is these two items right here. 300 candy canes. My problem isn't so much with how long it takes to complete the event. Um, Parker, please. Parker, please. There you go. Um... It, it's really just that getting duplicates is so expensive. Like if you wanted to like a snowma a snowman wonderland, you would be grinding for every single day of December and then some. It would be horrible. Um, I'm glad that you can get some of the like I bought a bunch of presents because those seem like nice things to have duplicates of. And um, I'm not I haven't done my math too much, but you can get about 30 free. Uh, well, not exactly free, but you can get like 30 candy canes from Shovel Strike Quarry a day. Also, candy canes seem to be a special case at Shovel Strike Quarry. You're guaranteed to have a candy cane slot every day uh, at some point in time. And also, it seems like you're limited from... Like, you only get gold and silver nuggets when you're doing candy canes. So you always get a very good reward. So, to reiterate what I said in the first video, definitely always go for Shovel Strike Quarry for the, the candy canes. I do get an extra maybe 30 to 60 a day, I would guess from doing requests, but obviously that depends on how many requests you can do in a day. Um, and I've been playing fairly actively, so I think I think my like eight day estimate, that's like towards the, the low end, but that's not like, you know, play every second of every waking hour of the game. That's like, you know, moderate level, but beating it before the 25th is definitely possible. Um, yeah, like I was saying, the, the 300 ones, I, I'm okay with it costing a lot, to complete the event. This is a problem I've had with Abistrium too. Completing the event, it's okay for the completing the event to be difficult. But if I want duplicates, it shouldn't take like five days to get a single duplicate snowman. Like, make buying the first one more expensive than all of the other ones. Or make some kind of special condition where unlocking everything is hard, but making all the duplicates you want is less so. And I mean, I guess in regular Animal Crossing, you're not always going to get guaranteed to get multiple duplicates of your favorite thing. Because you kind of just get random ones. And you're usually moderately limited. You can get like one item a day. So in a way, this is kind of better than that. But it's also a little bit, um, I don't know. It's just a little bit plain. That's the other thing. Usually in Animal Crossing events, there's a special NPC that visits. There's some kind of special event that you got to do. Like, you gotta chase around the turkey, or you gotta make snowmen, and the snowman gives you gifts. And I was kinda hoping we would get the snowman. I figured that would be pretty reasonable to include, though it's not even snowing in-game yet. Which is kind of a surprise, it snowed last night. Didn't stick, fortunately. But, uh, I'm assuming the, the snow textures will come fairly soon. But yeah, I do hope future events have like NPCs at least and like the, the characters acknowledge. That's another thing. The NPCs do not acknowledge that it is in fact the holiday event. They just do their normal thing. They just talk about whatever. So I, I do think they could definitely, it's definitely lacking in personality. I think it was not as horribly grindy as I was fearing, but the duplicates are still a problem. So I think, I guess overall, it's worse than I had hoped, but better than I'd feared, is how I'd put it. It was, it was, it was decent. But, um, I could do with a bit more flair, a bit more personality in the next event. Um, I do think the timed goals were fun, and I like how they reduce the amount of stuff that you need. Like, as long as you craft one of each, you, you get a lot less, you need a lot less candy canes. So yeah, overall, pretty good. Also, I, I find it a little bit unfortunate that I don't know how many people visit my camper. So initially, I put all my stuff in my camper. And I thought that would be fun and festive, but I realized when most people visit you, they're just going to go to your camp, so I just put it out of my camp. It's like, I like my camp. It's all cozy. But, uh, 
The friend features in general are kind of lacking as well, but that's not really the event's fault. It just kind of- the event just kind of made me realize that, because I wasn't sure if anybody could actually see my stuff. That's why I share- I tend to share it on my Twitter and my Instagram and so on. So, I guess that's a way. Anyway, that's the Christmas event. Um, you know, I'd give it- I'd give it a, a B minus, I guess. I don't know. It was- it could have been better. Could have been worse. <laughs>